Hannah's a fire jumper, and she uh, grew up most likely around a bunch of guys and a family and faith and country and service and um, and she has. And she's also a bit of an adrenaline junkie, and I think everybody that does this job has to be, um, or you wouldn't jump out of a plane into a fire. Um, but she's somebody who has had um, experienced a real tragedy, and she feels very responsible for it. When we meet her, she is carrying the the, she's having nightmares, she has PTSD, she has all of that. Um, and she's somebody who I think doesn't think very highly of herself. And so she puts on a quite a brave front that she acts cool. But, um, but really she's a very uh, broken uh, person who carries a, a great deal of guilt. This is a story that on its surface, I think, feels like a great thriller and a lot of really interesting characters and a great adventure across um, very, an unusual terrain with an unusual uh, situation inside a great fire. And, and so we, uh, for all of that, I think that is exciting. But underneath it, um, and what has been really surprising to work on it is it's a really, um, it's a very emotional film about people who are a few different people who are in different places in their life, who through encountering each other and through going through this, this journey together uh, have a great impact on each other and change, and change each other. So there's something very, very beautiful about it. So in many ways she is, she, you know, she saves the boy and the boy saves her. She doesn't know children and she thinks she shouldn't, she doesn't think she's worth living. So to put a person like that with a kid who's, who's needing her to save him, she just, she has no faith in herself that she can do that, that she should do that, that she's worth anything. And um, so I think, so through the film of of course, she, she is forced to stay alive. She's forced to connect with the child. She's forced to kind of confront all those things that she fears and, and feels um, that she's just not capable of. And, and, um, and so kind of emotionally and practically, they go through the fire through the midst of all of this big fire and adventure and, and um, hitmen and violence and drama, there are these, these real friendships and real love and real loyalty and, and, uh, and, it's, and it's beautiful. I am drawn to people who have been through something and are broken and then find their way forward and overcome it. I think we all are, and and as an artist, it's it's kind of very um, it's very healing to play people like that. She's been very healing for me because you just you just get so broken, and then you stand back up, and you can do that in a character, you can do that in life, you do that telling a story, but somehow you're still doing it, and it feels good, and you hope the audience gets that same feeling and that same reminder that we can all stand back up. It's a very particular world. It's this part of America. And Taylor um, loves and knows this part of America and represents it. Um, I think with all the, the respect, but also the, the humor and the kind of idiosyncrasies and the, and the grandeur of the parks and the craziness of the friends and the, you know, but it's very, so it has a very, um, uh, and the poetry of this, this part of the world. There's no softness. There's kind of like, so cut the wood and jump over the this and, you know, 
I, there was one morning it was freezing and the lake was cold and and he said just just you know get in and run across it and I was early and I said oh, it's really cold and he said yeah <laughs> go in the river you know and he was right just go in it's freezing my boots are soggy I can't climb we're at altitude it's exhausting we're dirty and I'm so happy to be uh, to be pushed by somebody to just toughen up and get dirty and sweaty and do things I've never done and and feel very capable. Taylor taught me how to chop wood and start a fire. <laughs> that was nice. Now he needs to teach me how to ride a horse. It's heavy. I mean, and there. And what's interesting is you have that moment where like he's on top of me and he's really punching me hard in the face and really beating me up and that stuff that is very, I think, I haven't played roles like that where I get beaten up like that. Um, and it was it didn't feel good to have it done to me. And I could tell the way the set shifted in that moment, it just, you know, rightfully so, when we're all standing around and suddenly you think of that kind of violence against women and it makes you, you turns your stomach. Um, but I think that's good, and I think it's good that Taylor has those things in the film. I think it's, it's, it's important not just to talk about certain things, but to actually see it. And both the women in this movie get, we get hurt pretty bad. And we, we fight back, but, but the brutality is real, and it's not softened, and it shouldn't be. I think this film and this time that we've all spent um, doing a film about people that do this kind of service and live this way is very much a part of America that is very special 